Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So it is that time again where I just sit down, have a little bit of a chat with you all, answer some of your questions. I like to make these types of videos once every two, three months. I get so many questions under my YouTube videos and I also get quite a few private messages sent to me on Instagram. I love getting these messages and it really frustrates me the fact that I just don't have time to answer everybody individually. I read every single one of these messages um, but I thought this was just a good way to just you know get back to some of you and answer some of the more commonly asked questions or questions that I find extra interesting also make sure you stick around because later in the video I'm going to be doing a little cup she try on haul fun fact I absolutely love to follow fashion YouTube channels and Instagram accounts related to fashion it's my guilty pleasure and I I know that my channel is not really a fashion channel well it's not a fashion channel but I like to add a little bit of that into my content once in a while and I know that a lot of you actually really enjoy these hauls that I do sometimes okay guys so let's jump into the questions I have a list here on my phone this is in no particular order Antoinette when are you and your family heading back to New Zealand so the answer to that question is I have no idea at this stage and to be 100% honest I feel as though I am still recovering from our last trip to New Zealand which sounds crazy because that was like six seven months ago but oh my goodness if anyone has done that trip to New Zealand and back with children I've got three children so if anyone has experienced that you will know what I'm talking about so many things went pear-shaped on that trip as much as we had an amazing time in New Zealand I am in no rush to do that big trip again so we will be heading back like that is inevitable whether it's next year or the year after I'm not sure but right now we are getting ready for my mum to arrive next week so I cannot wait I can't believe it is just around the corner she's going to be staying for 10 whole weeks also I wanted to mention that mum and I are going to be making another video together so if you have any questions for her you can leave them in the comment section below and hopefully we can answer them in our video okay guys so the next question is a really good one I actually get a lot of questions similar to this and this question is hi Antoinette I am a fellow expat living in Germany I'm from Scotland and I have a two-year-old little girl who my husband and I are raising bilingually with the English and German language like your family we are doing the one parent one language method and our two-year-old is currently experiencing speech delay do you have any tips or advice for us so thank you so much for reaching out to me this message was sent to me on Instagram I'm not an expert on this topic so any advice I give you is only from my personal experience bilingualism and speech delay seems to be quite a popular topic and it can also be a little bit controversial there have been a few studies that suggest that bilingualism has nothing to do with speech delay then there are some other studies claiming bilingualism can contribute to speech delay and so in my experience I have three children and two Two out of my three children experienced speech delay. Amelia, my 10 year old, barely said a word until she was two and soon after her second birthday she had a huge language explosion and she started speaking in full sentences in both English and German. It was amazing. My six year old Matteo on the other hand was a very early speaker. He was early with almost all of his milestones and Luca, our baby, he is two years and three months and he definitely experienced speech delay even more so than Amelia. He is starting to speak now and he's also starting to string sentences together slowly which is really exciting for us. When we took him to his two-year checkup we were reassured that everything was on track and my pediatrician actually said to me that it is very common for bilingual children to experience speech delay and this is from her own personal experience. It's something that she considers a very normal part of bilingual speech development and saying that this is not the case for every child so if you're feeling worried about your daughter's speech development then the best thing to do would be to make an appointment with her pediatrician and get her assessed most likely she'll be absolutely fine she'll catch up but it is important if you're worried to get her assessed because speech delay can be a red flag for things like autism and with autism early intervention is just so important if your child is responding really well to you and making really great 
great eye contact and understanding basic language in at least one of the languages then you shouldn't have anything to worry about but it is important to go and you know talk to a pediatrician and you know get her assessed and that will give you a lot of peace of mind okay next question Antoinette do you watch YouTube yourself and if so what other youtubers do you like to watch so I love to watch YouTube I would much prefer watching YouTube over like Netflix or Amazon Prime as I mentioned before I love to watch fashion channels that is my guilty pleasure I also love watching just kind of lifestyle content in general I do watch a lot of youtubers in the expat space you know expats living in Germany or Germans living abroad somebody I really love to watch a channel I love is life in Germany a lot of you will know Jenna and I just really enjoy her videos because I just think she's so lovely and genuine obviously I can relate to so much of what she talks about on her channel another channel I really love is Philly from Germany and she is a German living in America and I, I just really enjoy her content and I really love her second channel understanding train station and she has this channel with Josh who is an American living in Germany and I, I really enjoy their videos it's kind of like a podcast style channel another youtuber I really love is Hayley Alexis of course I have been following her for years she is a personal friend of mine and her content is so good she's hilarious so entertaining I love her honesty she just always says it how it is I'm just going to be answering one more question in this video the other answers were so long and drawn out and I'm running out of time but this is a very commonly asked question Antoinette how old are you I cannot work it out <laughs> so I know I've mentioned my age before in previous videos but if you don't know I am 37 years old and I will be turning 38 in a couple of weeks I'm not young and fresh-faced anymore I know that but I am very at peace with my age I've always thought that there's something really intriguing about the wisdom of women in their 40s 50s 60s and beyond and so I am very at peace with my age I don't want to be any younger so as promised I'm going to be doing a Cupshe try on haul and so Cupshe has sent me a whole bunch of really cute outfits for the warmer weather which is hopefully just around the corner I love collaborating with Cupshe they are an online store that sell the cutest swimsuits and outfits for women of all ages and all different shapes and sizes I've also got a discount code for you so if you use my code you will receive 15% off your next Cupshe order so I picked out this adorable jumpsuit from the Cupshe website it looked incredible on the model unfortunately I don't have a golden tan like this lady here but let's see what it looks like on me I actually really like it it's extremely comfortable very lightweight and easy to wear this tropical print is really cute and I like that it gives me a little bit of coverage on my arms and legs but not too much if you know what I mean it's a crossover style jumpsuit with a matching belt really cute I can't wait to wear this when the weather starts to warm up Next up is this white cropped cotton blouse. I fell in love with this one on the Cupshe website and I just had to get it. Let's see what it looks like on me. Exactly what I expected. The blouse is perfect. I love the style with this cute little tie at the front and this v-neck and buttons down the front. I don't usually wear tops this cropped but because the blouse is oversized I think it works really well especially pairing it with high-waisted wide leg jeans. The fabric's gorgeous. It's a hundred percent cotton. It feels really really good quality. It's not see-through at all. I'm going to be able to pair this blouse with so many clothes that I already have in my wardrobe. Next up is this cute little white jumper. Suit. Obviously it looks stunning on the model. I wasn't sure if I could pull this off especially because I'm so pale after such a long German winter. What do you guys think? I actually think the jumpsuit's really cute. It looks just like it did on the website. I just don't know if it suits me. I'm not quite sure. This fabric is very pressy and feminine. It has this very subtle floral embroidered print and little pom-poms and these little pearl buttons are very cute too. Like the other jumpsuit, it is very lightweight and comfortable. I do like this, I'm just not 100% sure if it's for me. So I'm loving all of the jumpsuits on the Cupshe website right now. 
I thought this one would be just a really great basic piece for the warmer weather. So here it is on me. I am really happy with this one and I actually wish I got it in more colors now. It'll just be a really nice, easy to wear outfit when I'm running around after the kids in the summertime. It's a nice stretchy fabric. It has a little belt and I love the brown buttons. I really love pairing brown and navy together so I think it looks great with this little brown swing bag that I thrifted a while back. So last but not least is this stretchy maxi dress in a coral colour. Once again I loved how it looked on the model and I'm a big fan of maxi so I thought I'd give this one a try. So here it is on me. I have to say the colour looks quite different in real life. It's much brighter and almost like this fluoro orange which surprisingly I quite like. I have to say the fabric is very thin and very stretchy. I actually really like this one. I think it's really fun and just a little bit different. enjoyed that little cup she haul. I have come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I would love you to consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Feel free to connect with me on Instagram and I will see you again really soon. Bye!